blog on the Not So Daft Minecraft, where, if you'll remember correctly, our chief goal is to ultimately end up uh, trading with a village and heading to a uh, woodland mansion. Um, that's all I'm all I'm worried about. Um, I suppose in theory I should just shoot that particular video, but I'm hard-headed and I want to uh, showcase what it takes to get there. So we've been doing some mining, we've been gathering some emeralds, we don't have enough yet to trade with the village, which we also have yet to discover. But we have to get animals down here because we have to get some XP in order to get the necessary bits together to weather the journey to a mansion. So I want to open up these walls over here to serve as our underground farm. We need space for cattle, grain, sugarcane, and right now chickens because they will be our only source for um, uh, materials to make uh, arrows. Unless we get infinity enchanted on a bow and I don't want to chance that. So we're going to make an opening right here behind me. We're going to do a series of 9x9 nine nine plots. Um, the one in the middle is going to be the 9x9 nine nine wheat farm. Uh, to the left and to the right we'll have a 9x9 nine nine, um, cattle pit and a 9x9 nine nine sugar cane farm. And somewhere below my feet we will park a chicken ranch which we may later want to use as a uh, nether wart farm but let's get busy doing it i don't really want to film it i just don't i just i thought about filming it and fast forwarding but i'm look look you guys know what it takes to box out and create a hole in the ground so we'll just show you the finished results and uh you can figure it out yourself because there's no real intellectual challenge to it so let's just see what it looks like when we're done All right, so in the uh, <clears throat> moment just before now, I told you we would be uh, putting together the cattle farm, wheat farm, and sugarcane farm, as well as perhaps a uh, chicken uh, uh, farm. <laughs> and we've done all that, and uh, I've got the volume turned down because this is what it sounds like when it's not. Yeah, it's like a, uh, a zoo down here. We even have a dog. So let's take a look at the facility and I'll show you uh, what it is we've done. Okay, so this is open at the moment. So we can talk about that in a second. We've got some glass blocks in here so we can see through. We have a 9x9 nine cattle farm which has a walkway around it so it's actually a seven by seven a nine by nine wheat farm which is pretty much ready to harvest and a nine by nine sugarcane farm which uh, is in the middle of doing what sugarcane farms do now notice that all the water we do need to go out and get some lily pads and I'm going to show you what that looks like right now um, basically running, 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 uh, until I find a swamp, hopping into a boat, plowing through lilies, and, uh, they just pop up and flop into the boat, and then you come back here, and you put them down, and then you can walk on the water. So we have this button here, show you what that does. At the center is a dispenser. Inside the dispenser, a bucket of water. When we hit the button, it activates this redstone piece here, which runs along to our dispenser. And that's going to make the water flow. It's important to have a gate here because the water will want to flow through, but the gate will stop it, even if the gate's open all the time. Now, there's a flaw currently in Minecraft. I think it's a flaw. When that button gets pushed, it activates this air block, which is not really a block, but it counts as a block. 
and it makes that gate swing open and shut. That's really annoying. So I turned it off with a redstone torch right there. That redstone torch keeps this, the gate in whatever state I set it in. So it's closed. Let's, okay, real quick, I've set this up as an experiment to show what I'm talking about. Um, we have a redstone torch under that block there. That's our deactivator torch. We don't have it over here. So the button will make the gate and the object work. Now this one doesn't have that problem, which is weird. So you could always set your block up with your button that way and avoid it. Or you use the torch if you want to have that button on the overhead. The gate stays in whatever position you left it in. This block has to be a some kind of a block that's not glass. I tried it with glass. Glass won't uh, work. But there you go. That's the basics of how to avoid that. So it's closed. Let's get the water going. It's going to knock out all of that. And there we go. Now, if I didn't have that redstone torch down there, the gate would open and shut every time. It's annoying. Plant this field. Then down here we have our chicken coop. I splurged and made the bottom of the chicken coop all uh, hay blocks. That's a monstrous splurge. But uh, you're kind of going to want chickens if you don't find a uh, skeleton XP generator because at the end of the day... This is about the only way to get a reliable source of arrows. And, of course, if you don't have your cattle farm going, it's a good excuse to get some meat, too. I have this descending central shaft. You see how it floats here? The reason I do that is if you put your ladder right against the wall, even if you um, put the ladder way up one block, the chickens can hop up and they'll climb that ladder. But by uh, having it sort of centered like this, they just can't quite get up there. But trust me, if you just did it down the wall, you'd have chickens in your, uh, your mine room. All right, so there you have it. The bulk of the downstairs mining shaft slash farm ready to go and rock and roll so we can get ourselves uh, uh, in a position to locate and explore a woodland mansion. All right. Thank you for watching. Not so daft Minecraft. I have been ghosted. You have been great.